purpley neon pink. Uh, yeah, I feel like I wouldn't describe it as pink, more of like a coral, but I really like it. So it's basically kind of more like a sports bra type looking and feel of the top. I think um, with this collection, they decided to do shorter straps so that you get more cleavage. Um, so they launched basically two styles in three or four different kind of like prints and colors. So I have three of this same style with the high-waisted fuller coverage bottom. And I have three of the Tan Babe collection, which is the itty bitty triangle bikini with the thong bottoms, which you know that I love. Makes no sense. The next one that I got was the kind of powder blue one. It is called the Megan ribbed top and bottom. They're all the same price, I think. Yeah, uh, they're the same price as the Aster set that I'm wearing right now. They're basically just like a powder blue kind of color. I think this is what I would describe it as powder blue. This is the top and these are the bottoms. So they're high waist, fuller coverage, same with the Aster. These ribbed ones do not fit the same as these like smoother, typical swimsuit material ones. So I found that the ribbed ones fit smaller and they were less stretchy. I also think these straps were a little bit shorter. Um, I think I got kind of unlucky with this order to be totally honest because I had to exchange sizes for both of these, which is kind of like, ugh, I don't know. So the sizing is not the same as like any of your other Vitae swimsuits if you have them. Um, I had to go two sizes up for these. Uh, um, one thing about these new ribbed ones at least is that they don't run the same sizes as the old ribbed ones. So I think there was one called the Scarlet which was essentially the same style but it was red. And that top I wear an extra small and it fits beautifully. These ones I had to get a medium so keep that in mind. Um, they fit a lot smaller than the old ones and I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I think the purpose was basically they wanted to shorten the straps so that you get more of a push, uh, which for me, I don't personally need. So it was kind of frustrating to have to size up not one, but two sizes to use the, the Bianca set and it's the white ribbed version basically. And I was pretty much most excited about the white one, but I have to say I'm the most disappointed with the white one because, again, there's like fit inconsistencies and I don't know if it's just because they were handmade, but um, I did ask if maybe I just got one that was a little bit shorter than the rest and I think, I think the response was that the white one is smaller than the blue one. So basically this white top is like unwearable for me. So I think I'm gonna have to give it to one of my friends or, or like put it on Depop or something. Um, obviously I've never worn any of these yet because it is spring. I love, oh my God. <laughs> I remember mentioning to Celine, uh, I remember mentioning to them at one point that I was like, oh, you should really do these in neons. And oh my God, I'm so happy that they did because um, I got the Electra tan babe in the last one which is kind of like a pinky orangey situation which like oh my god I'm obsessed with but uh this neon really like took it to like a new level which I don't know I'm really stoked on but um this is just a neon green set thong bottom itty bitty triangle bikini uh perfect for tanning hence the name the tan babe um and this one is actually a normal swimsuit material just like this like aster set whereas a lot of the other tan babes are um ribbed so this is kind of a little bit different which i'm really a big fan of um just because i don't know i feel like it's nice to like mix and match different textures and i think this color just works better with this fabric so yeah i'm super super excited to wear this the next one in the set that i got was the wild child set which is just like a leopard print i guess um but i really like the colors in this because it's white background and then the leopard like the leopard spots i guess are black and then they're this like peachy nude i guess 
So it's not like your traditional brown and black leopard print. It's a little bit, uh, it's like a little bit softer, but at the same time, it's a little bit bolder because of black and white contrast. So I am really into it. Um, but yeah, this is also the same typical bathing suit material, which I really like. So yeah, nothing bad to say about it. Okay, so the last of this set for this collection that I got was the Stormy Tan Babe, which is this really pretty silver glitter situation. Um, it looks absolutely stunning on, and I just like, I don't know, I just feel like this was like a, a more special and unique piece, but I really, really like it. Um, my one thing about it is that it is not comfortable because... I don't even know what to compare this to. Like, I feel like when I touch it and like, you can hear it, it's like scratchy. I think it would look really, really nice in photos. So if you're looking for something like that for that purpose, this is definitely a winner. Um, and yeah, the size and the fits are exactly the same as the rest of them. Um, and yeah, um, I do have to say that with this collection, I don't know if it's because they were all kind of done by hand, but uh, the quality is a little bit hit or miss. I feel like I've had more like stitching and loose thread issues with these bikinis than I've had in the past. Um, but at the same time, it's like handmade versus factory, like wholesale kind of thing. Like you kind of have to pick your battles. So um, yeah, but these like these minor issues don't really affect uh, whether or not I'm gonna wear them or buy them or support the company because I love them and I love what they stand for So I'm very happy with my pieces um, With the exception of the Bianca, but 